What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Chainsaw Man. Today we are doing episode six. This one was called Kill Denji, which is the exact opposite of what I want to happen. But with that being said, I'm still very excited to hop into this episode. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section, like always. And please subscribe. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure you guys click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. And if you guys want the full uncut versions, check out that Patreon. Links are down below, like always. Let's hop right on into it. Chainsaw Man, episode six. Let's do it. We're on the eighth floor, trying to make our way up to the ninth, but we keep going in this endless loop. Is that just a way of keeping her calm, the double peace sign? Or is that have actually anything to do with her power? I love these, like, shots. What sort of parallel mirrored dimension universe are we in? What is this? And then he comes back on the opposite side? What in a Scooby-Doo type shit? You're trapped. Yeah, you can't go up, can't go down, can't go out the windows. You're literally stuck in this pocket dimension. Right, just gonna have a little debriefing, lounging in one of the rooms. They tried going through the vents, you could see his own feet, that's like some portal type shit, I love that. Okay, can't be that, so a devil's powers are done when they die, it's not like some post-mortem nen type shit, that's good to know. Good question, Arai. That's why she became a devil hunter. Damn. Wow. I guess with a family so dedicated on your firstborn going to college. That's horribly sad. I feel bad for her. I love that shot. Like, look at these bird's eye view shots. This is so sick. Arai was helping at first. He's having another anxiety attack. You hate to see it. Mm, that's the worst. The last cigarette. Well, I mean, I love you, Himeno, so far, but I don't like you got Aki smoking. It's not good. Even though most likely he's not going to die from smoking. <laughs> you know. I get it. Especially with her lot losing, like, what, five partners before Aki, you know? Is that some just civilian, some random lady? What the hell was that? That's... That's horrible. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing you can do either, you know? That's horrible. Aki's not gonna accept that. He's gonna go have a word with her or something. <laughs> Aki's a real one. <laughs> Shouts out my boy. He's a real one, I'm telling you. I could see why they've been close as partners over the years. This is the first and last cigarette I ever light up, but we know that's not the truth at all. But I love this very tiny flashback of how they met. Last one, the call, you know, like... The flashbacks in the show are so masterfully placed. Mm. Mm. <laughs> it's gone. What do you mean? That is quite a bit bigger. Humans. Hear me, humans. It looks like Envy from goddamn Full Metal Alchemist. Like, it's just... 
an embodiment of just people. Why do they want Denji? Now, I sure hope this is more of team teamwork and how we stop this versus infighting and people actually trying to turn on Denji because I really don't want that to be the case. Don't turn on my boy Denji. No, Kobeni, I like you. Don't do this. Because we know she wants to live. We know she's very desperate in this situation. No way already? <laughs> Elbow to the gut. <laughs> oh, I love the way it goes through her hand as like an extension. She's just tearing it up. Oh my god. You're inside of my stomach. I love the way they're pulsing with like its veins and its nervous system through the hallway. So if they say contract, what they have to say, what they say is... I mean, they do have contracts. It would make sense that devils can't just go back on and just, you know, lie about that. Now we got an Arai turning too? And technically, this isn't like JJK where Denji's on like good standing with the rest of the people. Like, this is an experimental unit. He's half devil, half human. If it's for the overall betterment of people, which we can't really tell that right now, or for just Aki and Himeno, I could see them saying, okay, let's kill him and, you know, save these two expert devil hunters. That is a good point. We don't want to give anything that would benefit the devil. We're not going to play on his terms, you know. I'll use the sword. No, you won't. Even if it's our last resort, he shouldn't use it. They're willing to let Denji die over Aki using the sword? Oh, great. Now we got some Among Us. Someone fucking stole all the food. I'm so butthurt, Power. What are you doing? Twas not me. Yeah. She's just turning on everyone. I get it. You guys are petrified, scared, you know? I just don't like the way she's holding that knife. It actually makes me nervous. Music kicking into high gear. I love this shot. Did Kobani stab Orai? I would be so butthurt. Dread. Look at these shots, bro. I will be the one to kill Denji. The Eternity Devil. That's pretty much. Yep, infinite loop. It's like fucking a Mobius strip. Like, in, like I don't fucking know. What am I trying to say? So I don't see any blood on her knife, so I don't think she stabbed her eye, which I'm thankful for. Okay, the what are those Russian dolls called that just never end? You know, like what the hell is going on? She literally won't let him use the sword. A lot of years off his life. Yeah, they've gone, grown too attached. She doesn't want to lose any more partners. She's willing to let part devil, part human die over her, what, sixth partner? Who I, I, I understand that, sadly. I get that, but Denji's our main character. I'm not going to understand that. Come on. Did Aki just take that? Oh my god. Aki is the most real one I've ever seen. Shouts out Aki. Not necessarily for their relationship with Denji, but he's like, he's a valuable ally. I'm not going to lose this. What? Yeah, she's just seeing all the, the grave and the, the funeral of all her past partners. She's kept on like a, a, a brave, smart, like a, a, not a facade, but this face because she wants to be the brave, courageous devil hunter, but. Everyone's finally starting to snap. He's gonna give himself to the fucking devil. Denji's a pretty selfless dude. 
He's gonna go down with a fight, but he's like, if it means you guys get to live, I'll do it. He's holding you to that deal, Himeno, with tongue too. You gave up potentially your life for me, now I'm giving up my life potentially for yours. Look at that shot! The Literally the infinity loop, that's gotta... So, I wonder if the Gun Devil is going to be our main antagonist of maybe this first season. Maybe it's just this arc that we're dealing with right now. But I was not expecting it to be the Eternity Devil. To be stuck in this pocket dimension with time being frozen. You can't leave. And it's forming... A, I love the slight tidbits of world building that they give. Not like in like just display explaining it to a newcomer like denji or power but they're figuring it out like on the fly like uh if he says the words contract and he makes a proposition for both sides both have to uphold that otherwise the side that doesn't is going to die so him saying i'll make a contract with you you kill denji give him to me i'll let you guys go it's sort of like a confirmation like this is something that's even viable we can't really even take into account him betraying us because of his contractual agreements and so with that, Himen, or not Himeno, I mean Himeno as well, but Arai and Kobani went straight for giving up Denji. Aki was like, no, let's not do it. I respect him. Not necessarily, like I said, for their relationship and his and his like of Denji, but just Denji being a valuable ally to their goal, you know? Like it's sort of like, I don't want to make any God of War spoilers or references, but I'm playing God of War right now. And there are times where he's like, the enemy of my enemy is genuinely my, you know, my friend, companion, ally. And that's... I, mean, I don't think Aki considers Denji the enemy of my enemy, but I don't think he considers them really friends either. He did say he deserves things. He deserves a stabbing or two. But still willing to take a knife to the side for my boy. That's huge. Got to give props to my man. Uh, Himeno's power is amazing. I completely get. I like the. I love their flashback of the smoking and how much they care about each other in this super not weird way, but kind of weird way and she's willing to sacrifice denji versus letting aki sacrifice some years of his life with that whatever contract the sword has implied which has got to be insane if it takes years off his life which i don't want to make another hunter hunter spoiler but there's a character who has an insanely op ability that for every i think minute he uses it it's like a year off his life so i get to that ratio like it is very like one time in the manga this character was using it and he fell asleep and took off literally like five years of his life something like no it couldn't have been a, year, a minute for a year it was something like a minute is like an hour or something and he fell asleep but it took off like five years of his life it was crazy but um i'm thoroughly enjoying this like i said i love that extra angles and movie style cinematic shots that they feel the need to put in there because it just makes you feel like the production is just crazy the passion is there that it really feels like we're watching a movie. I don't know, but I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Don't forget to check out that Patreon for the full uncut versions. Other than that, uh, have a great day, Dapper Squad. Don't forget to drink some water. Peace out.